You're the God of this city. You're the King of these people. You're the Lord of this. Nation. We'd like to take this opportunity to bring you up to speed on what is happening with this proposal that you may have heard about, known as Second Community. It's been in the works for probably more than two years now, and so this is our chance on behalf of council and staff to present that proposal in its uh, more developed and final uh, form. So tonight what we will do is uh, we're going to have some questions and answers that you might have uh, yourself about what this proposal uh, is all about. So join us as we explore this second community idea that we call Creekside. In the two and a half years that I've been the pastor here at Crestview, I've come to recognize a church culture that is near and dear to my heart. Crestview is a sending church. Now what does that term mean, sending church? It means a community that, that identifies, raises up, empowers, and encourages people to serve in God's kingdom and then does exactly that, send them out. Crestview is like a, a base camp, if you will, in that it sends people out into the harvest field. And Crestview has a storied history in its 47 years of doing exactly that. Some of the examples are the Boulder Korean Church, Paul Holmberg and the Crossing, or the successful church plant in Longmont known as The Journey. And now, with the Creekside proposal, God has once again called upon Crestview to be ascending church. Council has decided that this proposal will be shaped like a church plant with Doug and A.D. serving as co-pastors for Creekside. All churches share the same commission from Jesus himself to go and make disciples of all nations and all are called to follow the great commandment to love one another and to love God first. What makes churches different is how they implement those strategies. Creekside seeks to reach the people of Boulder that would not normally attend an established or traditional church. It is a, a Boulder is a community that, that values independent thinking, free thinking. Um, it's very intellectual. They want a place to be able to explore issues in, in a context that feels safe. Creekside hopes to create an environment where such discussion could happen. One of the analogies that I like to use is there are different kinds of restaurants. You have people who love steak and go to steak houses. You have people who love fish and go to seafood places. The reason we have two separate churches is because we can't be all things to all people. We, we don't have the resources to serve both steak and seafood. Um, Boulder is full of people who are in God's kingdom that don't know it yet and my heart has been for years um, to see the kingdom of God expand in Boulder and, and the people of God in Boulder to, to realize who they are and to become more alive in Him. And, and I'm excited to have an opportunity with AD to, to take um, all of what God's called me to do and all of what I called AD to do and bring it to Boulder and, and grow the kingdom of God. For me, my ministry, for as long as I've been able to recognize it as ministry, has been to people on the margins. This looks like both people who um, have not yet come to faith but want to be able to ask their questions in a safe environment. And it also looks like folks who have um, grown quite a bit in their faith but have moved on from the traditional church and are looking for ways to grow even further in their spiritual formation. So when this idea was offered to me to co-pastor with Doug, I heard God's voice in it. Next, we get to pursue uh, discernment through um, putting together a team of people to pray and, and partner with Adi and I and developing ideas based on this to see what God's actually calling us to do in particular here. 
and, and pr pursue discernment through fundraising and, and raising money to see that this is um, paid for. One thing we have already received has been support from Classical Home Missions. They're both very excited about the idea of Reefside and how we proposed it, as well as have promised us funds to support us in our beginning years. So what does it mean to Crestview? Three things actually. Uh, we will be sharing Doug in this transition time as he moves from Crestview to Creekside. Second of all, we will be sharing the facility, providing them a home base, a physical home base from which to work. And then third, we will be providing oversight with council to continue to help them with spiritual um, uh, discernment as the Creekside community grows into its own. We believe in you, God.